The streets are dark. Very dark. There's a street light glowing like a beacon down at the end of a very long midnight street. There's a woman standing under that street light and she has a voluptuous figure. I can smell marijuana on the air. And then suddenly, a gunshot goes off. I recognize it. It's a 1911 45. I run forward. My feet are thumping on the pavement. The puddles are splashing. My pulse is racing. And I stopped and I looked and I thought to myself, my God, I'm in the middle of a pulp novel. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to McNulty's Book Corral. Today I'm diving back into my armchair fiction stack. I haven't covered enough of armchair fiction. They, this is what they do best, okay? They reprint the classic pulp paperbacks of yesteryear. So this is a double, and this is The Deadly Pickup by Milton K. Osaki. Milton K. Osaki was born in 1913 and died in 1999. He was a Japanese-American writer of thrillers like this. I'm going to mention his name again in this episode. So in this double from Armchair Fiction, we have The Deadly Pickup, Giving Her a Ride led straight into murder. Okay, great cover artwork, vintage cover artwork. And then we have James Okazi, Killer Take All, a back nine where murder was par for the course. Another great one, James Okazi was born in 1923 and he died in 2003. Both Milton K. Ozaki and James Okazi were workhorse writers of great thriller paperbacks. Armchair Fiction has thankfully reproduce them together, and this is a great must-have. Uh, they're doing a good job. All right, here's another one, a couple today, two completes. Now, these are the doubles that Armchair is doing in the tradition of the old Ace doubles, you know. Uh, you cl book collectors know what I'm talking about. This is Run If You Can by Owen Dudley, who was Dean Owen. Dean Owen, I'm sorry, I don't have his birth and death date out there. Dean Owen was another workhorse writer of a lot of different types of books. Uh, really good. So here is Run If You Can. So lovely. So nude. So evil. <laughs> and yes, I will have scans of the covers for you uh, at at the end of this video. I, you know, Armchair Fiction is doing a great job with this. So here is, on the back, the other book included here is The Scented Flesh by, you guess who? Milton K. Osaki. All right. The great Japanese-American writer of pulp thrillers. The Scented Flesh, a missing dame, led him straight to blackmail and murder. <laughs> Fantastic. I love it. Thank you, Armchair Fiction. And here we have a couple more. James Okazi again, all right? The Baby Doll Murders. She could look like a wistful child, and she loved to play games, such as murder, men, and marijuana. How is that for fun, Okay. I mean, if it wasn't for armchair fiction, we would all be continuously haunting the old bookshops and so forth. And the next one on this is another great one. Uh, Death Hitches a Ride, Corpse Cargo on a Highway to Hell by Martin L. Weiss. All right, here is this great cover. And uh, I know there's a bit of a, a glow there. Um, so here's one. I don't know anything about Martin Weiss. I Googled it and I couldn't find anything. So uh, I need to be educated here. I don't know if I've read anything else by Martin Weiss, Martin L. Weiss. I, maybe I have. I'd have to go back and look and see. But it's not a, a name that rings a bell with me. And again, when I Googled it, I found nothing. Maybe you know. Comments down below. Um, Death Hitches a Ride. Great cover artwork. Uh, it was a pretty good book, too. Both of these books are really good in The Baby Doll Murders. Great stuff. And we're going to end with a standalone uh, thriller by Stephen Marlowe. Go back and look at my other episodes. I have mentioned Stephen Marlowe before. This is a total standalone thriller. Model for murder. Okay. Caught up in the seedy world of girly magazines. I'll read the back cover to you. Her name was Stephanie, and she was the daughter of a hard-boiled cop. She was a smart kid and definitely gorgeous. But when she found out her older sister was being blackmailed, by the vile publisher of a sleazy girly magazine, she knew she had to do something about it. You see, there were photographs. <laughs> so with the help of a bitter, 
but good-hearted ex-con named Jason Chase. What a great character name that is. They set out to retrieve those photographs, even if the people were dropping dead all around them. All right, model for murder. She was a pawn in a deadly blackmail scheme. This was a great little book to read. Standalone, it's not a double. You get the full novel here, Armchair Fiction once again. Um, I, I'm sorry it took me like a year to get back to Armchair Fiction. And this is just, you know, this is great stuff. Great material from Armchair Fiction. Um, you know, look them over. Look at their website. They have science fiction. They have mystery. They have thrillers. They have they have um, horror. Some of the uh, compilations of short stories from the magazines, uh, from horror stories. Really good stuff. Um, you know, these sell for about $12, $15 on Amazon. So I go to Amazon and I just... I just type in armchair fiction and I scan it to see what they have, or you can go to their website and look it up. So I was in a real pulp mood lately. I went through a lot of that uh, in recent episodes, some of the nonfiction, you know, the uh, Carl Sandburg and uh, the poetry and uh, the Black Hawk War and Wyatt Earp and etc. etc. Uh, I was on the road and I'm going to be home for just a little while before I go on the road again. And so, in the meantime, you know what you need to do. You need to go to Armchair Fiction and you need to pick out some really good paperbacks or go to Amazon, plug in the search function Armchair Fiction and pick a book or two or three or four or five or six and have fun, everyone. Stay well, stay happy, feed your brain and read a book.